these men served in various areas of responsibility and conflicts, including the Vietnam War, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation New Dawn, Inherent Resolve, Operation Freedom Sentinel, ongoing today, Operation Resolute, Sup Resolute Support, as well as supporting operations throughout Central and South America, and as you'll see, to include times when we've supported operations and conducted operations across other parts of the world, to include Asia, South Asia. The memorial wall honors their dedication, spirit, and sacrifice to our nation, as well as honors those family members and friends that they left behind. The soldiers of the group have and will always be ready and willing to give their lives in defense of freedom across the world. And we are so honored here today with this memorial tribute and with all of your presence here to celebrate it with us. There currently stand as of today a total of 134 names on our wall. And we're calling today a rededication because we are adding 67 names. These names go back in time and they'll all be read through. The difference being we have made some changes to the criteria. Uh, some of the names that we have added today uh, and celebrate and memorialize um, are names who are soldiers who have died, not just in combat, but in non-combat incidents, in combat zones, um, in non-combat theaters, uh, where we are conducting operations and in training, all while assigned to the 7th Special Forces Group. It's a unique wall because it's specific to the 7th Special Forces Group. And I wanna thank all those that put a lot of time and research over this past year, uh, CSMZ's First Sergeant Rising, into really putting and doing the research, contacting some of the family names, uh, so we could have a better understanding of our history and our legacy. 